like I uh, probably said it in the last one, or we've talked about it before, the the new wave that that '90s wave of the British invasion that was basically happening all over again. Oasis was probably the biggest one. So I have effectively tricked my dog. Goose, stop! Stop! into absolutely loving lettuce. And all I did was just act like I really enjoyed the lettuce. Watch. Mmm. Oh, Goose. Goose. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood 6, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke Dog. What up? I have some candy for you today. Oh, oh sweet. No, actually, I, some I, got some that. I got some trivia. Oh. Actually. What was the first U.S. state to ban billboards? Billboards? Who banned billboards? We still have them. I know it ain't got Georgia. Them here. Uh, Why would you ban a billboard? The billboard's still up in Las Vegas, so it ain't Nevada, is it? Mm. Who ban? It's got to be some lowly populated state, right? I'll, if I give you a hint, I'm gonna get it immediately. What is it? It's the the last state to become the fiftieth state. Oh, so it was Hawaii. It was. Okay. And actually, fun fact behind that is billboards were banned in Hawaii in nineteen twenty seven. Oh, jeez. Damn, Damn, that's no crazy. There, huh? That is crazy. All right, how about this? In what city would you find Grant Park? Grant Park, Atlanta. <laughs> there is a Grant Park in Atlanta, <laughs> yeah. actually. Yeah. So but I guess there's another Grant it, Park. There is a different one, yes. Um, I have no clue. Um, I would say Montana. Right, you want me to give you a hint and you'll instantly yeah, hit it? Yeah. Chief Keith. Oh, Chicago. You were correct, my yeah. friend. Well, Illinois. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, what U.S. Wait, Illinois is the state. Yeah. No, you yeah, said Illinois what state, is... didn't you? No, what, in what city? Oh, you? okay. Yeah. So it's Chicago. All right. Uh, what U.S. city is known as the biggest little city in the world? And I've asked you this question before. The biggest little? Have you? Mm-hmm. What is the biggest little city? I don't recall that question at all. Uh, the biggest little city. I'll give you a hint. You can e easily get it. All right. There was a, a comedy sketch show on com uh, Comedy Central, Blank 911. Reno. There you go, my friend. That's called the biggest little city in America. In the, uh -huh. in the world, actually. In the world. Yes, yes. Is that true? Like, how do you justify that? I mean, I feel like that might be their phrase. <laughs> how do you quantify it? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that might be the phrase. Trash talkers, let's do some Would You Rather icebreakers. Feel free to play with us down in the comment section. Smoke Dog. Yeah. How do you get in the way of your own success? Oh, I could easily. Oh, this. man. The sloth will get you. Belfagor comes for you. You get lazy. Damn. How do you. The procrastination. Wow. That must be the last thing I think you would have said. Why is that? Because you get up so early and you're always like, let's go. I got to go do something. But you said how. Well, read the question again. The question Did is. Did I mishear the question? The question is, how do you get in the way of your. Oh, I thought you were saying, like, that's a general question. You're talking about me personally. Yeah, how do you get in the way of your know. own success? Actually, that's still true. Procrastination. Man, you're such an early bird. Yeah. Man. Like, but I feel I like. I catch myself procrastinating a lot. I, I would probably say. God dang, and me too, because I'm late to everything. <laughs> yeah. Either that, or I think the imposter syndrome, I'm going through like an yeah, imposter yeah, yeah. syndrome phase that, too. Yeah, I that absolutely know. happens. Yeah. Trash talkers. That's something you'll never shake too. Never. It, you'll get rid of it for a while, and it will come back. 100%. 100%. Trash talkers, you guys let us know. What gets in the way of your own success? What's your downfall of you being becoming successful? What do you do? All right, Smoke, are you ready to guess the title of this? Yeah. Uh, do and don't. All right, you know, no, okay. Uh, hey, blank over there. Look. All right. Don't look back. Okay. Now. Okay. Uh, Out and in. Uh. Oh, so all right. This is an emotion. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. Anger. What is it? Anger. Don't look back in anger. 
you got it, my friend. Right. <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor, y'all. Please hit that thumbs up button. And guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment. And tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos that come directly from you. Right down in the comment section. And today. Oasis. Oasis. Yeah. The tropical paradise in the middle of a desert. Yeah, that's what it is, man. We have only done one song by Oasis. Yeah, Wonderwall. Wonderwall. Right? Mm -hmm. But I, uh, bro, uh, Trash Talkers, please request this in the comments so I can show Smokey this song. You mm -hmm. gotta hear the song. All of the stars have faded away. Just try not to worry. You'll see them someday. Hey, take what you need and be on your way and stop crying your heart out. Please request that so I can show my dog Damn, this song. I just, I'm going to react to it right now. I just heard it. Oh, God dang. Don't request it then. Sorry. <laughs> I'll show it to him on another <laughs> uh, on a personal level then. But no, nah, so we're back on Oasis. We know Wonderwall. Mm -hmm. From what the Trash Talkers have told us, Oasis is kind of a big deal. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like uh, I probably said it in the last one, or we've talked about it before, they... The new wave, that, that 90s wave of the British invasion that was basically happening all over again, Oasis was probably the biggest one. Yeah. I mean, and even, like, it's so crazy because I feel like there's still a mystery to us. Like, we don't know the drummer's name. We don't know the, nah. the lead singer's name. Gallagher? Noel and Liam. They were brothers. God damn. Sometimes you get a lot of information out of the comments. Section. I do. It's just my memory retention <laughs> yeah. is garbage. When yeah. you said Gallagher, the first thing that popped in my head was to do that <laughs> smashes freaking pumpkins. I'm like, wait, what? Or yeah. watermelon and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, with this song here, we got Don't Look Back in Anger. Mm -hmm. You want me to tell you what's coming to my head? What's that? You know how you ask like one of those older couples and you're like, oh, y'all have been together for 60 plus years. What's the secret? And most of them will say, don't go to bed angry. Mm. Have you ever heard that? Yeah. Do you think that might this with You ain't going to sleep well if you do. Yeah. You, uh, apparently, make up. Yeah, basically just make up before, before you go, you to, go bed. to bed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because you're going to wake up mad at them still. But if you make up before you go to bed, you wake, you sleep good. Good to go. Yeah. Uh, it's probably about not regretting or something like that. Like, don't look back at your past and be mad about it. Ooh. Because you're just going to drive yourself crazy anyway. Forgive yourself. Smoke up! What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it!
Man, I love the trash talkers. Y'all put us on some dope ears. Watching this, it really makes me realize why they would call them like the biggest thing of the British invasion because they are so much like the Beatles. Dude, you were you literally just man. We've been doing so many reactions. I feel like you you can kind of get in my brain and be like, <laughs> you know, what? I'm gonna say it before you say it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just about to say that. Yeah, because it's true. Yes, like they, the they have look. the look, they have the sound, like. They're the Beatles reincarnated. Man, and you know what's crazy? If you were to say, like, if you were to take this song and say, hey, here's the Beatles' Hey Jude, you know, mm-hmm. newest song, and yeah. said, oh, here's the new song by this new band that just came out of the same year of Hey Jude and yeah. played this, yeah. it, it would sound... As long as Hey Jude was remastered, yeah, people would be like, oh, yeah, that must be the next song similar. on the album. Yeah. I was thinking the Beatles so much, bro, because you know how me and you always say when we listen to uh, like uh, artists that not that aren't American, it's hard to catch their uh, mm-hmm. their yeah. accent. Yeah. Oasis is one where you yeah, definitely hear that. He actually can. uses his, the accent. You can hear it, dude. Yeah, it's almost like a universal thing, though. Most artists try to filter it out. You try not to use an accent. There's like this universal accent that you use when singing because it's not necessarily an american accent why when do you you're think, singing why do you think that is i don't know i think it's maybe because you think it's more appealing to like the yeah i, I think when i don't know where who started it or whatever but there's a certain accent that singers use the certain cadence and the way they say their words and it's almost universal but sometimes like this you will catch the accent in the lyrics, yeah. Listen, I have not heard a bad song from Oasis yet. Yeah. I have not either. heard a bad song from Oasis yet, dude. It's just, they're so, it's almost like a breath of fresh nostalgia. Mm-hmm. It, I know the term is a breath of fresh air, but this is a breath of fresh nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. You know, it takes you back to the late 50s, early 60s, yeah. early 70s. Even it, though it, it was probably 90s, 90s. 2000s. Exactly. Yeah. But it yeah. takes you back, dude. Now... I'm going to keep it real. After watching the video and listening to the lyrics, I I, I feel like the video has, is just a filler. I feel like the video really didn't have... Yeah, have I don't think it gave away the story. At all. No. But now, I'm curious if we're thinking the same thing on lyrics. Okay, go ahead. You want me to go first? Yeah. All right, so he says, don't look back in anger. Uh-huh. He's like, okay, if we break up, yeah. if we stop being friends, if we stop talking to each other, if me and you stop having sexual relations whatever it is whatever we stop doing whether it be a friend or someone that you're in a relationship with you know uh sexually or whatever it's like if we break up just don't end it in anger because Uh you never know i'm you might need me again one day you might need me to come around you you may be like you know what you cheated on me i hate you so much i never want to speak to you again 10 years down the road, you ain't worried about that. You married. You got you another kid. You ain't worried about when I cheated on you 10 years ago. So it's like, look, it, I, I understand that I messed up. I understand that I messed up. I understand that I did wrong, but don't leave in anger. It's okay if you're you're upset. It's okay to be angry at the moment, but don't leave completely angry because I might have to be a part of whatever you need me to be a part of in the future. So you think he's talking to the ex? Or anybody that he's 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 just turning away from i don't know if it's an ex or a a best friend or i think he's talking to the current relationship about the The ex ex. yeah Yeah. so he's saying listen my last ex left in anger you don't do it is that Uh, what you're thinking no i think he's saying don't look back in anger don't look back because he said sally can wait Mm -hmm. i think he's with the new uh the new relation and they're talking about the former relation and she, he's saying, don't look back in anger at my past. I know that she, she may still want to be with me, but that's in the past now. Hmm. And I don't need to be with her. I want to be with you. Yeah. Don't look back at my past in anger. Yeah. Basically. That's, I think that's what he's saying. Could be. Hell. Again, me and Smokey could be on in the same book, just on a different page. Mm-hmm. This is where you guys are going to have to come in and let us know. Are either one of us right? Or what's your interpretation? Have you, have you ever left in anger, Smokey? From a relationship? Yes. Yeah. 
A thousand percent. Yeah. <laughs> a thousand percent. <laughs> Trash talkers, how many out there, how many out of you guys out there have left a relationship out of anger and actually despited it or been in a relationship with someone and was like, look, don't worry about how my last relationship went. I'm, I'm, w- I want to be with you. Like Smokey said, you know, just curious mm-hmm. how many trash talkers have experienced either what I said or what Smokey said. Leave it down in the comment section. Also, let us know what's next by Oasis as well down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name's Behringer Hollywood Six. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez. Come on. And we are over and out. Deuces. Yeah. We. We. Boy, buoyancy. <laughs> Beatles part two. I want to thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with us today. If you want to see the last video we did, just click right over here. Or if you want to see another artist that we covered, just click right over here. If you guys want to support the channel, please consider joining our Patreon right over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.